it's time, folks. It's time to shut it down, turn the tables, and lock her up. That's what I said. I actually said it. Lock her up. The house of cards upon which the Obamas and the Clintons built the Trump-Russia connection collapsed yesterday when it was disclosed that the Clinton campaign and the DNC paid $12 million for a dossier to connect Donald Trump to Russia. To circumvent federal election laws, the campaign paid a law firm who then paid a research firm who then paid a former British spy to get dirt on Donald Trump from Kremlin-connected Russians. So why is this important? Now, the FBI had previously worked with this Christopher Steele, who was a British spy, and under director James Comey, they paid him an additional $50,000 to continue with the research. Now, this dossier was used not only to smear the president, it was used to create a special counsel. It was the basis for congressional hearings, the reason for wall-to-wall -wall anti president Trump coverage. But in addition to that, the dossier was used as a predicate for further investigation, wiretaps, unmasking, and FISA warrants. And if it was, then whatever was developed as a result is classic fruit of the poisonous tree illegal and unusable. Folks, this has been a charade, a wag the dog, where you make up a crime, you accuse the other side of the crime, you call in your friends to prosecute the crime, as your friends collect the cash involved in the very deal-making that is the essence of the crime itself. Now, last week, I told you, in 2010, the Obama administration approved the sale of one-fifth of our uranium to Russia. As early as 2009, the FBI and the Department of Justice were investigating Russian extortion and bribery efforts to access our uranium. And yet the Obama administration, through its Committee for Foreign Investment, CFIUS, approves the sale. On that committee, Hillary Clinton, whose husband got a half a million dollars. Hillary Clinton, whose foundation got $150 million. Eric Holder, whose Justice Department quietly disposed of that international racketeering case that was the genesis to access the uranium. Along with seven other Obama appointees, virtually every one of them had connections to the Clinton Foundation. And when the Republican congressman questioned why would the United States be selling uranium or approving the sale that is used to create nuclear weapons to our enemy, the Republican congressmen were shut down, basically saying, don't worry about it. Starting Monday, this has to happen. Special counsel and former FBI director Robert Mueller must be fired immediately. His role as head of the FBI during the uranium deal and the Russian extortion case, his friendship with Jim Comey, demand his firing. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein must be fired immediately. His appointment of his pal, Bob Mueller, who he knew was head of the FBI at the time of the uranium deal, as well as the underlying case itself, must go while he, Rod Rosenstein, oversaw the prosecution of the underlying extortion case. And Rosenstein's sanctimonious recommendation that Jeff Sessions recuse himself are grounds enough for him to go. The special counsel's office must be shut down. This is nothing more than a cabal of individuals relying on false evidence to impeach Donald Trump. If there are any charges voted by a grand jury, which we hear there are, that will be disclosed on Monday, the Department of Justice can take over. Jeff Sessions must appoint someone to investigate the uranium deal, the sale of uranium to Russia, 
who was assisting at that time Iran in Iran's nuclear development has put our national security in jeopardy. A 2010 case. This is long before Donald Trump ever got into the presidential race. And if he doesn't do it, it's time for Sessions to go. I've heard enough of this. I'm not going after the emails. I'm not going after Lois Lerner. I'm not going after Loretta Lynch. And I don't care how many of his swamp pals walk out. Enough of this one hand washes the other establishment nonsense. And Jim Comey, he needs to be the target of a federal criminal investigation for his role in the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Writing an exoneration before witnesses were questioned, stepping out of his lane to announce a decision over which he had absolutely no jurisdiction. How much classified information was on his laptop that he leaked to his sources to then leak to the New York Times? and Debbie Wasserman Schultz for lying to Congress about not knowing about the money from the DNC for the Trump dossier. Why did she keep a Pakistani and his family with limited IT experience dressed down a Capitol Police chief for questioning that now defendant charged with bank fraud and conspiracy and moving monies out of this country and for interrupting the democratic process in a presidential election race, steering the nomination from Bernie Sanders to her girlfriend Hillary? And John Podesta for lying to Congress. Andrew McCabe, deputy director of the FBI, must go. His wife, a congressional candidate running with Hillary in 2016, receives $765,000, which unused money's left over from the campaign she's allowed to pocket, which she got from Terrence McAuliffe, one of five directors of the Clinton Foundation. You see in a pattern here, folks? Is this how the dossier that the Clintons paid for got to the FBI that they then continued to pay for? And finally, everyone on CFIUS who's connected to that Clinton Foundation and voted to approve the sale of our uranium to Russia, they need to be put under oath. What monies did they receive in return for their activities with the foundation? For the better part of the last year, this nation has been fractured as Clinton, Obama, the Democrats, sanctimonious Adam Schiff, arrogantly and indignantly accusing Donald Trump and his family of colluding with the Russians. The whole time, they were the ones lying. They were the ones making it up. They were the ones cutting the deals and collecting the cash. They knew it was a lie. They wrote the lie, they bought the lie, and they paid for the lie, and we're the fools that followed them down the path. This isn't about one defendant, one criminal, or one president. This is about our democracy. It's about law and order. It's about the republic. And it's time for the Republicans to step up to the plate, to man up and do their job or get the hell out. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page, Twitter, and on Instagram. Hashtag Judge Janine.